Congressman Keith Ellison, deputy chairman of the Democratic National Committee and a candidate for Minnesota Attorney General, has denied allegations that he abused his ex-girlfriend. Tonight, Karen Monahan is speaking on camera for the first time about an incident she says happened nearly two years ago. She sat down with Jerika Duncan. 44-year-old Karen Monahan says in September of 2016, she and her then-boyfriend, Minnesota Democratic Congressman Keith Ellison, got into a heated argument that scared her. I was still in bed, and I was laying across the bed on my stomach. I was listening to my podcast, and he walked in. He said, I need you to take the trash out. And I kept, because I was on my stomach, I heard him and I just went like that and shook my head. And he looked at me, goes, hey, you hear me? And then he looked at me, he goes, bitch, get the out of my house. And he started trying to drag me off the bed. That's when I put my camera on to video him. Did you call anybody after that? I called a friend and I said, I'm at the lowest of the low. Monahan says she saved the video on her computer. This past Saturday, Monahan's 25-year-old son, Austin, posted a message on Facebook saying that in the middle of 2017, he found the video, almost two minutes long, showing Keith Ellison dragging his mother off a of bed and telling her to get out of his house. I'm mortified, absolutely stunned that that she would say this. Ellison spoke to our CBS station WCCO in Minneapolis about the allegations. Did you ever drag her off a bed by her feet? No, absolutely not. She has said and insists that there is a video of this. Is there a video? There couldn't be. There couldn't be such a thing as that. And why couldn't there be? Because I never did that. Why speak out now? I followed my gut, the gut that I kept trying to push down. Monahan says she never reported the incident to police and says being dragged off the bed was the only time Ellison got physical with her during their three-year relationship. For people who might look at this and go, she said it only happened one time and he did apologize right after. He didn't apologize for putting his hands on me. One is enough. Monahan says she has the video. She says it's too traumatic for her, so she has chosen not to release it to anyone. She says, though, she should not have to release the video in order to be believed. Jeff, she believes her words should be enough. And again, Ellison vehemently denies those allegations. All right, Jerika Duncan, thank you.